What's up guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to talk about and explore the Brevard Mall. This was not only one of the first malls in America, but it was also the first enclosed mall in Florida. Opening in 1963, it was a 312,900 square foot open air mall. The original anchor stores were JCPenney and Montgomery Ward and other smaller stores included Winn-Dixie, McCory's, and Eckerd's. The JCPenney located at this mall was the third one with the iconic Funky P logo and the first one with an auto center. In 1982, a new mall was built just a couple of miles away. This caused the anchor store JCPenney to leave and move to this mall, which is where it's still located today. And this also caused less people to come to the Brevard Mall. As time went on, Winn-Dixie would leave in the 80s and TJ Maxx would take their store. Also in the 80s, there was talk about expanding the Brevard Mall to the now abandoned Sears in the parking lot next to it. By the 90s, Montgomery Ward would leave Florida due to their bankruptcy recovery plan and TJ Maxx would leave for a better location. This would basically leave the Brevard Mall abandoned. After talking about what they should do with this building, they decided to turn it into a business center with offices. And that is where it stands today. It definitely has like kind of an eerie feeling. Yeah, it does. I've never opened this door. Oh, there's an alarm door. Right. Push and tell nice. alarm sounds door can be opened in 50. What? <laughs> That's probably from the 1800s. That's how alarm, alarms work. Hey, I'm trying to remember where he said the food. I'm gonna go in here. Nobody plays English. Like, I think he said something about the drawing in the back. This drawers. is creepy. What the? Holy. Okay, the, the light has never come in here. I mean, people use this bathroom. No, they don't either. He said his bathroom hasn't been used. He doesn't know how to. <laughs> like. I mean, it's. Oh, it functions. I mean, they they remodeled. Like you know what I mean, some of it. Yeah. But he says it doesn't get used. But look at this. He showed us this. He said that's been there since this bathroom didn't get remodeled, and that's been there. I don't know what the hell it is. Is the light going to come on in this one? This one's creepy. I don't like this one. Turn on the light and wait. This one has a bit of a Like the faucets and stuff. Yeah. Have been obviously remodeled. Yeah, he said that's been there. I'm like, what? I'm going to turn this light off. This is huge. Yeah. Is there a light? Look at this. Wow. This is awesome. And the other room that we first walked into, the blue wires, that connects to this. I mean, this is, yeah, this is pretty cool. Is there a way to get out through here? So weird, it's like, it's literally like a maze. These, these lights, the way they're designed, kind of reminds me of LEDs. I know they're not, but like how they're like the cubicle things. 
What's in there? This is the door that... So weird. Yeah, it's the whole design is really like, weird. And then to the main part of the mall. So is that like the only part that doesn't have anything in it now? Uh, yeah, that and then. Oh. Uh, Again, how does uh, this is what I don't understand? You see how we were in this room? And yeah, like it went like around this. Okay, and now watch this. This is a whole nother like big room. I mean, not that big. This one doesn't smell good. This doesn't smell good in here. No. Wow, it's hot in here. I, I can't describe that smell. Old? Yeah. That's why it stinks. What? The bathroom oh, has yeah. been used. Has it been used, you said? Yeah, I thought yeah. it smelled like it's that. What's in here? I think this was like the mall security. Yeah. It goes upstairs to the roof. Is that a roof access? No, it goes to the side. There's a, a room up there. I think, oh, okay. I got the explanation. I remember where this goes to. Um, the Montgomery words or wards or whatever that yeah. it's called. So the way it was set up, they didn't have cameras up, up there. They, this was, was like the washroom. To see over it? To see over it, like in several areas. I don't know if it's been closed or what. Oh, this is creepy. This is creepy. You heard that? Hello, anyone in here? Hello? This is creepy. What is this thing? You do you went shit and it scared me. God no. Oh my gosh. It's super dark in here. Is this your first time up here? Somebody behind the door. Really? How's your camera gonna? Because I can see. Where does that go? This is the one that goes outside. To the side of the stairs. Yep. Okay. This is pretty creepy up here. Yeah, so 
so I think. And this wall used to not be here or something? Yeah, like one of them used to, this is where they used to watch the people. I mean, that makes sense. People have definitely been here not too long ago. Dude, it'd be so easy for somebody to hide underneath this desk. Oh my gosh. That thing is from the 1600s. Not <laughs> You think this is above the one room that we went in with all the electronic stuff? Probably, yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. It looks like the same thing. It looks like the same thing come up from the room or maybe come up from the room. Either way, I mean... It looks like something's coming up here. Yeah. Need a light bulb. You can plug in. Oh my god. Are you sure that's to it? It'd be on. But yeah, that goes to it. See? They like spliced in. Where else does it go? Oh, so it probably lights up the whole room. Dude, you think somebody like stays in here? Like I said, there's always, there are always... <gasps> Dude, these are floppy disks. What is that? What is this? That's man? awesome. It's like old like SD cards and stuff. Wow, imagine. Arrow Badger. Bluefish fault to front boot. There's no telling what's on these. Yeah. This is wild. All the computer stuff here. Oh wait, there's light switches here. Huh. Imagine. Imagine. That would have been helpful. There's footprints there. What if somebody was like hiding up there? Oh my gosh. Where? TM Rennie Fate Home. I don't know what that is. The reason why I think these get used is you can see where people walk versus where there's dust. Well, I mean, there's kind of in 2003. Do not know. Which way did we come in? Well, this is locked, so we didn't come in that way. This is literally a maze. Yeah, it's so big. There's a you like areas that we probably can access. And it, I want to go to the radio station. No, I think that's an alarm. So guys, iHeartRadio is actually playing copyrighted music, so I have to voice over this part. But if you guys don't know what iHeartRadio is, it's a very famous radio station. But this particular station is for the Brevard area, and in the mornings they'll have talk show hosts, and sometimes they'll have celebrities come and singers come and talk. I thought the actual like design of the place was really cool. It had the fluorescent lights, and it kind of gave a very retro feeling. And I also think it's a very interesting layout that they have for the studio that you can just look in and see the hosts or whoever's there. But this next part is actually from an employee that works at the mall right now and he just talks a little bit about the history so enjoy i think 1963 is the plans i got okay. it was all open like you know just right. no roof or nothing just stores wow and then it was the first enclosed mall in florida yeah that's what i heard i met the guy that built it enclosed an old guy come over here one day and was telling me about it Pretty old place, so you never know what you're gonna find here. Yeah. You gotta be careful. <laughs> I come here and went shopping. True. But other than that, I never paid no attention to <laughs> So that was the Montgomery Ward? Yeah, and that's where, I guess, that was. And then he said it was, what else did he say it was? A, uh, a nightclub. Or a casino. 
a casino. And then he said there was a church. That was the nightclub and then the church. I want to walk back in here. This goes back to the area over there. Yeah, so this was all the blue wires. That was... For what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, what is that? So then you said there was the JC Penny. The JC Penny was down there. JC Penny went down to the other mall when yeah. the new mall got built. And then the Builder Square, he said, was in there. Yeah. So is that just like the maintenance guy? Yeah, there's two of them. So he said it was the first enclosed mall? Yeah, it was an open mall. So when they started, it was a little mall. And then it expanded. And then, like, they expanded and then they enclosed it, and it was the first enclosed mall in the state of Florida. That's crazy. I would say they interview singers and stuff in there, probably. Yeah. They, I think the, uh, they told us that, I don't know when it is, but sometime end of August, something like that, and we only in September, we, we can't do stuff here because they're gonna have someone in there that's like famous yeah what's that sound this place definitely has a lot of history there's probably places here like in the middle yeah. selling because there's plugs in the carpet that looks like it used to be like open there in the middle mm -hmm. unlock grill before you Grill to be uh, open when premises are occupied. That's what I was thinking. It kind of looks like it used to be like for food. Like, I don't know. And you said this is where they design the Ford stuff? Yeah, the Lincoln and the Ford. That's what I was told. I know they and then he said this is... Persepta. What do you say used to be there? Um, it was a nightclub at first, and then it was a church. Okay, so the nightclub, then the church. And does this go all the way to the other side? So guys, thank you for watching today's video. I wanted to actually thank the blogs again. And the first blog that I got information from was My Florida Retail. And this blog talks about the history of Florida retail stores and has amazing pictures to go along with it. The second blog was Mall Hall of Fame. This blog also tells the history of malls and has amazing drawings and pictures of the malls. And the last but not least blog is Pleasant Family Shopping, which talks about the history of businesses and also has amazing pictures like the Funky P logo. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want more content like this, again, please hit the subscribe button. I love you guys and I will see you next video. Peace out.